Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Patrick Bogey, um, also known as Dr. Violin, and man, I have a passion for music and medicine. You know, I realized that um, I, I definitely post a lot of videos of me pouring out my heart in my violin and gracing everybody with my music and what I love, but I didn't really talk about the other thing that I love, which is my passion and just my love for medicine, um, really this doctor portion of Dr. Violin. So I said, you know what, this is what this video is about to be about. Um, so I'd like to welcome you to episode one of... I'm not even sure what this is called, but I just know that this is episode one of me telling you about my experience in becoming Dr. Violin. If you're watching this video right now, um, you should know that I just finished my first block of medical school, but it gets even better. I just passed my first block medical school exams. <laughs> now passing for me is really special. Um, I'm sure that you've heard about all, all the horror stories they tell you about med school, especially if you're, you're a future med student, you've heard that you have no time to yourself. Um, you've heard that uh, you have no personal life, uh, no social life. You've heard about the studying for 27 hours a day. Um, you've heard about um, getting 30 minutes of sleep uh, per week or whatever they say. Um, and I'm here to let you know that med school is a little challenging. There's no, there's definitely no, no, no question there. But I want to let you know that it's possible. It is possible. And that is the biggest thing that I've learned um, throughout the course of this block. Um, coming into med school, I, was, I came off of a gap year, so I wasn't studying for about a year straight. Um, once I came out of undergrad, I was really focusing on music, learning more about me, learning about life. And so it was an adjustment getting into med school and they're hitting you with this high volume of information um, that you have to retain. And uh, man, so many people are telling me, Patrick, I don't know how you're going to balance the, 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 the violin thing and the doctor thing in the med school. You know, they're going to kill you out there. And I was like, well, we got to give it a shot, you know, somehow, you know, when I really stopped after the exam and I took time to think, I saw, I looked back and I was like, man, I've done a whole lot of violin gigs. Now, all my in-person gigs were canceled due to the pandemic, um, but the virtual gigs on Zoom for, I mean, opening up for companies when they have conferences, um, doing church service gigs playing virtual anniversaries, playing, um, offering a selection for a birthday party. It was just so much that I was doing. In addition to that, um, still my personal life and then having my social life and of course keeping up with my vi um, keeping up with my studies, sorry, my academics at the same time. It was a whole lot of a whole lot that I had to juggle. But one of the most significant parts for me is when I um, did a collaboration with Israel Houghton and New Breed and his wife, um, Adrian Houghton. It was an incredible experience, but that took a lot out of me. I remember classes were online because of the pandemic, so what that looked like is me getting up because um, I'm in Connecticut right now and the recordings were happening in, in New York. So I would get up at 4 a.m. I would drive two hours to New York. Um, it's 6 a.m. there. I'm in front of the McDonald's stealing McDonald's Wi-Fi uh, with my laptop in order to take my classes online. Then going to the recordings, um, studying when I get back from the recordings late at night. Um, it took a lot of sacrifice. It took a lot of adjustments and um, it took a lot of work. But I'm here to let you know that it is possible. All right, med school is difficult, um, but it is possible to have your social life, it is possible to have um, your professional life, and it's possible to pursue your passions. That is the biggest lesson that I learned. So you might be wanting to be a doctor, you might want to be a lawyer, maybe you want to be an engineer, a business owner, you want to be an educator, whatever it is you want to be, I'm here to let you know that it's possible. I don't want to be like too corny, um, but I want to let you know that if you've been called to it, then you have the tools that it takes to get through it. And so, yeah, man, that's just a little update about what I learned um, now that I finished my first block of medical school. I'm still finding my rhythm. Um, the, the, the me, me, me finding that balance is not over. And I think I'll always be in that little, that little finding that rhythm. Um, but I'm excited to let you guys know how the rest of the journey goes. Um, but yeah, I hope that you're reminded that it's possible. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you.